Drawing details can be very overwhelming and difficult, which can make us avoid adding as much detail to our work as possible, this being one of the most important things in a drawing. But don't worry because I have the solution for that. My name is Dragos Pepina and in this video I'm going to show you how to create details very quickly and easily using this tool called an exacto knife. This utensil has a great tip for fine details, it is very easy to hold and very light. When we use this tool, we are tempted to press as hard as possible to scrape off as much pigment as we can and in the end to overdo it. Avoid this, pressing too hard can puncture the paper leaving behind an unfixable mark. Instead, scrape it off carefully. Take your time and remove the pencil pigment very gently and using a very light hand. When I first started drawing, I always wondered how I can create details in the shortest time possible. If I knew this trick, I would have saved a lot of time and frustrations. As you can see in the demo, at one point I tried to create a highlight in one of the black dots of this ladybird. My attempt failed because that black dot was done in one move, pressing very hard with the black pencil, creating only one layer, which is not enough to use this trick. In the end, I just damaged the paper. An extra tip is to use a white pencil for stronger highlights. Apply hard pressure to get the best results. The lower the pressure, the brighter the highlights will be. This trick also helps a lot because we can leave uneven marks by removing those layers of pencil as the white pencil will smooth out the entire surface. The exacto knife is also ideal for details in the eyes. This small effort will bring your entire drawing to life. Small details have never been easier to create than by using this tool. It can be used for all kinds of textures, ranging from feathers all the way to fur. Another very important tip for avoiding a disaster is to hold the exacto knife at a 45 degree angle. That way, you only use the broad side of the tip, avoiding tearing up the paper. Make sure you build enough layers before using this knife. You will need at least 3 layers, all of which must be burnished. The more layers you have, the easier the removal process will be. Don't forget to use this method at the end when the drawing or a particular area of it is finished. To create a shimmer effect, I used a white pencil. Keep the pencil as close as possible to the tip when doing this step. Use the tip for smaller details. It is great for those areas hard to reach or if you want to highlight in an exact place without touching the surrounding zones. Bear in mind to hold the knife at a 45 degree angle and use the side of the tip, in no case at 90 degrees. Because the eyes are the mirror of the soul, I always give them more attention when I make a drawing. Every little detail counts and the more contrast in it, the more realistic it will be. That's why I always use this trick when it comes to making this step. When I'm working on a pet commission, I always tell myself that if the eyes are done, the rest is a piece of cake. Creating a wet nose effect has never been easier until the discovery of the exacto knife. Carefully choose the areas where to scrape the pigment, then apply a short stroke pulling down the pigment using the side of the tip. In the end, apply the white pencil to the desired areas. All of these steps need to be thought through beforehand as too much detail will create a messy and clumpy effect. When I draw fur, this hack makes my work very easy. As with the previous areas, in this case too we have to choose very well in advance the desired areas to apply this method. As you can see, the lowest layer of this area is a zalm color. In short, what this method does is to reveal the base layers, turning them into highlights. Now we came to an end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you've learned a lot from it. I am posting one time a week and normally graphite, colored pencil or pastel related videos. So if you don't want to miss any of those, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button as well to be notified every time a video goes live. And I really hope I'm going to see you in the next one as well. Have a nice day. Bye guys.